What's up, YouTube? This is Red Zone 101. God bless and peace. Hey guys, got another uh, video for you. This is, a, this is a review on something I normally don't do uh, reviews on. You know, normally I do my burners, uh, my firearms, uh, CO2 options for self-defense, but this is something a little different. Right here, I want to show you my first riding mower. Yeah, that's right, my first riding mower. I feel like I've joined the big boys club. And uh, this is a really nice one. Um, my wife decided that she didn't want to find me uh, laid out in the uh, yard somewhere trying to mow all this with uh, self-propelled. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and uh, decided we're going to get a riding mower. Now, this right here is the Greenworks Crossover T. This is an electric riding mower. It's an 80 volt electric riding mower. And uh, I gotta say, I'm loving it. This is really sweet. Um, I mean, we were going to get um, a gas mower, but then, you know, we got to thinking about some of the issues we had with our, um, uh, with our gas uh, self-propelled and, you know, uh, the gas, the oil, spark plugs, and all that other stuff. And uh, we've been going more green, going more electric. So we bought our first, well, our first purchase was a Greenworks um, electric mower that wasn't self-propelled. And that was great. Worked really good. It had all of the power. And that was, a, that, uh, I think that was an, like an 80 volt also. And then, you know, we moved up to a self-propelled one that was 80 volt. And uh, finally, we moved up to the big boy here. Now, before we got this one, we were considering uh, the Ryobi. Now, when we saw the Ryobi when it came out and that it was electric, we were like, wow, we were all in. We were going to get one. As a matter of fact, we ordered one. But then we had some problems with shipping and uh, we canceled the order. <clears throat> I'm glad we did because I look at reviews now. A lot of people were having some issues with that. Uh, the batteries on the Ryobi, uh, the first ones that came out, I'm not sure if that's still uh, the case. The first, ones, the first ones that came out had lead acid batteries. And, uh, and uh, anyway, some people were having some issues with that. Uh, this one person said it was in the shop more than they actually had it using it to cut grass. So anyway, when this came out and we heard about this, you know, we were like, you know, let's do it. Now, this was not cheap. Um, yeah, this was over five grand, a little more than what we wanted to pay for. Granted, we're paying it off, <laughs> but but it but uh for what we wanted this has lithium batteries and it's 80 volts well like i said it's got a 42 inch cut and uh this is the ringworks pro series and i gotta say it's nice it really is nice it's nice not having to worry about gas or um oh speaking of which let me show you the battery compartment oh right here this is uh, actually a storage uh, compartment. You can tow stuff. I think you can tow up to 250 pounds to 300 or something around there. I think it's 250 though. But the batteries go right here. Now this will take up to six 80 volt Greenworks batteries. Now it will work on just one, but I like to put the other ones in. So you know what? Let's grab that bag here with the other batteries and let's throw let's throw those in to me I don't like putting all I mean putting the strain on one battery you know when it's designed to run on six I don't want to ruin the battery or what have you and it probably won't but just to be on the safe side and these batteries are not light but I got this deal from Costco and uh, normally when you purchase this uh, this riding mower it comes with six batteries. 
Now Costco had a deal where not only did you get, I mean, um, well, instead of six batteries, you got 12, which was really nice because we have some other uh, Ringworks products. So, so this way we've got extra batteries. So you put the batteries in like this. Just put them in and they click in. here as I said this will run on one battery I've got a friend that actually uses two batteries when he does his uh, lawn but I'm gonna put all all six in because normally I start doing my property and then I start doing out past the fence there across the uh, <laughs> across the street and what have you so anyway you know us guys, we get carried away. Boys with their toys. Okay, so I've got all of my batteries in. We'll close it up. Oh, and I do have an alarm for this also. Just move the keys up there. We don't want to. We don't want to smash those. Okay. Now, so now to operate this is really simple. Oh, and another thing. This has a really great seat. I mean, that is a comfy seat. Got a place for my phone, something for a drink. Good to go. Okay, let's step up here on it. Now, I am not an expert when it comes to uh, riding mowers. This is actually my first one. So, but as I said, I'm loving this. Okay, we're gonna turn it on. One, two, three and you'll see uh, the display here 100% and it's actually on let's take a ride on it feel like a kid at a uh, Cedar Point step on the brake and now we're ready to go sucker takes off and I gotta say the blades I mean when you turn on the blades Granted, it's loud, but it's nothing like a traditional gas mower. So, let's turn on the blades the way that we turn those on. Get my coat out the way. Lift up. And the blades are on. Now, normally I go with a three-inch cut. So, I'm going to move this down here. This will go from a... Let's turn that off real quick. Okay. This will go from a one-and-a-half-inch cut all the way to a 4.5 and I have taken this through some really thick grass up to like three feet and it had no problems cutting that down so okay we're gonna move this down to a three inch cut that's what I like to do three inch cut and uh, oh now this right here where the grass shoots out um, the little deflector like whatever I did cut off I cut it so that it's level with the wheel here uh, in other words, like whatever it hits the grass, whatever is going out past uh, the wheel. Um, the reason I did that was to get it in my shed. And uh, so far I haven't had an issue with it. All right, let's turn on the blades and let's do some cutting.
okay we're gonna turn that blade off a minute I guess the storm I didn't notice the storm had knocked this branch down Wow right on my fence too you can see all the way down nothing up my cut yeah all right people I'm gonna put the camera down I'm gonna see if I can move that hopefully it doesn't fall on me if so I'll catch it on camera and I'll run really fast all right that's my workout for the day oh one thing about this too really quiet when you have the blades off you don't even know it's on i'm gonna turn the blades back on and uh hopefully that branch doesn't come down and hit my fence anyway here we go
Gotta watch the tree. Okay, actually I wasn't gonna cut that whole lot right there, but uh, it just got good to me. <laughs> and actually it is still on. I mean, wow, this is, this is a lifesaver. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, I'm getting older, so trying to cut all this and over on the other side there, uh, you know, and after working all week, whatever, you know, uh, it's a job but I gotta say this makes it a lot easier um, 42 inch cut is a lot different than a 21 inch cut on um, one of your self propels um, gotta say I'm loving not having to put gas in it I just charge up my batteries and I'm good to go no oil um, don't have to worry about it starting I go and I I turn the uh, ignition here and it comes right on I'm gonna turn it off while uh, we're talking this play just went off um, I don't know what I can tell you because like I said I'm not an expert when it comes to riding mowers but this is my first one and I gotta say I'm glad we held out and got this one <coughs> excuse me um, um, like I said it's it's a really nice mower um, bumpy but I figure that they're all pr pretty bumpy and my grass isn't exactly level but I mean you got to look at this cut the cut is actually pretty nice I mean all things considering and uh, as I said my grass is not I mean my lawn is not even I've got okay I gotta get that I missed that part there but it cuts really well so anyway I'm not going to keep you. I don't know too much more I can tell you, but this is a great riding mower. Um, I'm going to go and cut the rest of my lawn here. I'm going to go back inside and chill out. It's Saturday. You know, I've been in the house all day. I just needed to get out. And I thought, well, well, while I was out, let me make this video real quick. Guys, if you're looking for a riding mower, and you're willing to pay the extra, you know, couple of grand. This is a good one. I can't speak for the Ryobi. Like I said, I've heard some, and I've heard some not so good reviews about it. But I can tell you from personal experience, and I've only had this for 
let's say a few months but it's been it's been great i gotta say it's great the only thing i plan on doing to it now see i did this because i used chains to lock it up like in my uh, shed hey this is the d it is what, what it is you do what you gotta do but i plan on putting some green slime um uh, like in my tires here so this way uh, that'll help protect it if i do get a puncture like what have you but dude this is a great a great mower i don't know what else i can tell you the steering is actually really good uh really like responsive um and uh the fact that you can actually tow stuff in it <laughs> hey it's sweet anyway people this is red zone 101 I want to thank you for watching um to uh, my brothers and sisters in florida i'm praying for you for those of you that have lost loved ones due to this uh, hurricane um, my prayers are that your loved ones are in they're in a better place you guys want to thank you for watching as always god bless and peace this is the greenworks crossover t 80 volt 42 inch cut electric riding mower it's a total thumbs up take care people